hey guys welcome back to my channel it's Paige and today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine so this is what I wear whenever I do my makeup and a lot of you guys have been asking for this video recently so I wanted to do it for you guys all these products will be linked down below it's a really simple makeup look so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get right into it first thing I like to do is start off with a tint and moisturizer and this will be linked down below for you guys but this is my favorite one from Laura Mercier and oh, my skin is kind of breaking out right now so that is not fun where's my sponge where's my sponge oh I love this tint of moisturizer a lot I think it's a little dark for me right now but they changed their formula the new formula oxidizes did not look good on me so I <laughs> I'm trying to keep this one as long as possible. I love wearing tints and moisturizer though because I feel like my skin just still looks like skin and I really love that. Sorry, I'm looking over here because I have a mirror, but I also have been trying out the Dior, I think, face and body. I like the Dior one though because it still is pretty light, but if you like wearing heavy foundation and all that stuff, that is totally fine. I just personally like to wear a lighter tinted moisturizer or a lighter foundation. So now I'm going to highlight my face and cover up some of my pimples. I never break out on my cheeks. For some reason, I'm breaking out a lot on this cheek. I feel a blind pimple on my chin and those are the worst. They hurt so bad and I'm just always breaking out on my chin for some reason. I know it's hormonal, so that makes a lot of sense because I am getting off of my period. I have a few acne scars on my chin, so I'm going to use a little bit more of that. If you guys know how to get rid of acne scars, please let me know. These will not go away on my chin. I think that's as good as it's getting. So next, I like to use a powder. I kind of bake my face a little bit under my cheekbones. I don't wear bronzer anymore, so I feel like this kind of creates the illusion of bronzer. I'm gonna do a little bit on my chin, just so I can set this area since I put a lot of product right there. And then I always do my forehead a little bit. I don't really know why. <laughs> well, that is baking. I am going to apply blush. And blush has been my favorite thing recently i don't know how i never wore blush before i just love it so much like i said i don't even wear bronze anymore i really just love the pack on the blush and this brush is so dirty i need to clean my brushes after this but anyways i'm using the nars orgasm blush i love this one i'm just going to apply this on a couple of my cheeks and uh, i'm just so in love with this it just looks so good i can't believe like how was I not wearing this before? I don't wear highlighter anymore either. So I just really love to pack on the blush. I'm gonna take this brush right here. I don't even know what this is really for, but I don't know. I just take this one. So I'm just going to wipe off the bake. I kind of like bring it up to kind of blend my blush out. I don't really know if this does anything. In my head it does though, so I do it. That is really it for the face, and now I'm going to focus on the eyes and eyebrows. So I'll do the eyebrows first. I've been using an eyebrow pencil recently, and I used to use an eyebrow tinted gel. And I really liked it, but sometimes I felt like my eyebrows looked really harsh. This is the Brow Wiz, and I'm just brushing them out. I have pretty full eyebrows, but the, this section right here just is a little sparse. So that's what I usually focus on. I start a little bit right here. I don't know why, just I guess to kind of outline my brow for me. And then I go up, and then I just fill in this section right here. And afterwards, I always brush through my eyebrows again, so I don't have any harsh lines. I'm going to do this side now. I think this is my better eyebrow. That's all I really do for my eyebrows. The eyebrow pencil changed my life. I love it. But now I'm just going to set them with a clear eyebrow gel. I'm 
amazing. I'm going to scoot up because now I'm going to do my eyeliner and I feel like everyone asks me questions on my eyeliner. So all I do is take an eyeshadow palette. I use a dark brown color like this one. I just use an angled brush like this. I do it really fast because I've been doing this for years, but basically, I don't even know how to really explain this. I just go upwards like that. Oh, see, okay. Of course, on camera, I'm gonna have a bad day. If you ever make a mistake though, you can just easily take a brush and, I don't know, just wipe it away kind of. I just really focus on the outer corner, outer V, I guess, of my eye. I don't do like my whole eye with it. I don't know why. I think it gives me more of a cat eye look and I have really small eyes. So I just do that and that's basically how I do my eyeliner. I know some of you will ask me, so I'm going to do it on the side. And then sometimes I like to take a brush under it and just clean it up. Okay, that is it. And now I'm going to just curl my eyelashes. I got a lash lift and tint the other day. So my eyelashes look pretty long right now and they are darker than usual. So my natural eyelashes are really short and light, but I've been using a lash serum, the Babe Lash one, and the, oh my gosh, that serum changed my life. My eyelashes are so much longer now. And I'm telling you, I do not have long eyelashes. I'll link that below if you guys are interested. I love that product. After I curl my eyelashes, I always just brush through them with a spoolie so they're not like clumped together. My favorite mascara is the Benefit They're Real. And I use the brown one because I think since I have darker eyes, I like to use browns. That's why I don't use black eyeshadow as eyeliner because I think just the brown looks so much better on me so use whatever color you like i think the benefit there real has the best brown mascara i've tried other browns and they're not they like more of a blackish brown but this is a really nice brown color i don't apply bottom mascara because it just always smudges and it just makes me so mad i really like bottom mascara but i've just kind of <laughs> given up on it but if i get any mascara on my eyelids i just brush it away <laughs> i brush through my mascara with a spoolie so none of my eyelashes are sticking it together almost done the last thing i like to do i'm just mirror back here okay last thing i like to do is apply a lip liner so i use the kkw which one is this i don't even know lip liner in nude 0.5 sometimes i just leave my lips like this but if I want to apply a gloss, I've been using it this one a lot recently. And the Lip Addict Lip Plumper in the shade 201 Sweet Nothings. So, I don't know. <laughs> I just barely put it on the center of my lips and it tingles a lot. So, I don't know. Maybe it's doing something. No idea. It smells really minty. Okay. And then I used to use a setting spray, but I ran all out of it. And if I had an Ulta nearby, I would totally go get it. But the nearest Ulta is on the Upper East Side, and that's just kind of that's just kind of far. So I'm doing without my setting spray. But I usually use the Morphe one. I really like that one, the Continuous Mist one, I think it's called. I really like that. Someday I will get it again. But that was everything for my makeup routine. This takes me about. I don't even know. I can do this really, really fast. Probably like 15, 20 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All of the products that I use will be linked down below. I love you guys all so, 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 so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.